and welcome to another episode of Author Fan Face Off. We've got one awesome author, one huge fan. We are going to pick a book by that author and find out who knows more. I'm Steve Shankin, and my co host is, of course, the leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. And our guest author today, Ruta Sepetis. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. You have all these awesome books, which have fans all over the world. You're always traveling somewhere, well, except for this past year. And we're going to focus on, I believe this is your first novel, right? Between Shades of Grey. Correct. It was my first book. So very, very close to your heart. Very, very. But also, I wrote it in 2005. So, you know, not so close to my mind right now. That's close to your memory. <laughs> so is me. That could be an issue, Stacey will introduce your challenger today, who may have read it more recently than you have. Hmm. I'm so excited. We got to know a little bit about Maria from Kentucky, a sophomore in high school. And she, um, Ruto, you were actually going to go visit her school last year, and then sadly COVID hit. So um, I'm glad we have the opportunity to connect you guys. And the cool thing about Maria is that they, she's into theater, and they wrote their own play so that they could do all of the blocking COVID safely. So that's um, kind of cool. And they're re ready to go. So she was part of writing that. Wow. Um, are you ready, Maria? I will start. Maria, you got the first question. Russian NKVD officers often shout the word divide. What does this mean? Hurry. Yes. Yep. Okay. Awesome. See? Ruta, when Lena and Jonas find their father on another train car, he gives them this valuable item. <laughs> the, the mother's, oh no, his wedding ring? His wedding yes. ring. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Very good. So we're not giving away, we, we never want to, dis, we want to discuss the book, but we don't because we don't want to give spoilers, but it's not too much of a spoiler. The setup is that this family is being deported from Lithuania on this train. And so that is the setting for a lot of these questions. Um, when they're on the train, one of the people they meet, Andreas, he rips the pages. This is for Maria, rips the pages out of this book to make cigarettes. Pickwick Papers by Charles Darwin, or not Darwin, Dickens. <laughs> Yes, I know you knew that. <laughs> and that's, that's awesome. Oh that's one God. of the one of the great things, Ruta, about the book is that it, it is a dark and serious story. It's sad, but there are some very funny things in it. And when they, when she finds out that she, that this guy has ripped the pages out of her book to make cigarettes, which was based on a, a real little vignette that someone told me that there were these two teenagers and they were smoking books, and I thought, oh, I have to put that in the novel. Oh. oh, okay. Well, this is a follow-up and, and, and very much a related question then for Ruta. Later in the story, Andreas gives Lena this book for her 16th birthday. Also Dickens, but Dombey and Son. Yes. Very good. Wow, we can't trip you guys up. Not yet. <laughs> um, all right, Maria. The farm at the Altai labor camp grows these two crops. Beets and potatoes. Mm -hmm. And Lena's like, I hate beets. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And Ruta, Lena's mother sewed these valuable items into her coat before being deported. Um, uh, money and silver? A little more specific. Um, uh, si um, serving pieces, silver serving pieces. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> and That's we nice. don't see her do that in the beginning, but it comes up later. She reveals that she has them. All right. So they, they're, they get sent to some pretty harsh places in Siberia, and Jonas gets scurvy. So this is a question for Maria. Andrea steals this food item to help Jonas recover from scurvy. Tomatoes. Yeah, a can of tomatoes, correct. These are, there's some tough questions coming up though, I have to say. The things that happen just once. All right, Ruda, 
there are a lot of flashback scenes in the in the story as well. And uh, we see bits of Lena's life before she's deported. Her father, in one scene, his father is very alarmed when he finds one of her drawings of Joseph Stalin in this type of outfit. A clown suit. <laughs> and that's a big part of the, the political background of, of what's going on is, is um, Joseph Stalin and, and the terrible things that are happening in her country. Yeah, the, uh, the occupation of the Baltic states. And uh, if a teenager were to criticize, if you can imagine, Stalin and someone would overhear, of course, that would also result in the family's arrest or deportation. So she was kind of putting the family in danger by drawing Stalin dressed like a clown. All right. We have just a couple more. Maria, who is Lena's favorite artist? This is for you, Maria. Edward Monk. Yeah. Wow. All right. And then Yo Jonas and Mr. Stalis, the bald man, agree on one thing. Dislike of this traditional Lithuanian dish. This one's for Maria, right? <laughs> <laughs> A traditional Lithuanian dish? Beets. It's a... No. I'll give a hint it because <laughs> it's a Christmas, they talk about it as a Christmas dish. Not something that they eat, but something they talk about remembering. Talk about remembering for Christmas? Um, for Kuchos then, for... Uh, uh, Maria's nodding her head. Do you know it, Maria? Oh, we all yeah. know. oh. You want to give I'll, a hint? I'll let her answer. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I remember because the bald man goes, he's like, well, I'm Jewish. And they're all like, what? We could have celebrated Hanukkah. And he's like, oh, I don't care. I hate that dish anyway. That right. sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh my God, you know, Maria, just give it to Maria, a point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Maria, now. what is it? Poppy seed soup. Oh, poppy seed soup. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't think of that as traditionally for holiday, but I'm not going to argue. I'm have wrong. You, have you have you enjoyed poppy seed soup? Yes, for Kuchos, for you know the the um, on Christmas Eve, you can't st you can't begin eating until the first star appears in the sky, and you, you fast all day and you're starving. And so they they serve twelve dishes. Um, and yes, I've I've had my share of poppy seed soup, but I guess I don't know. But I I have it at other times as well, so I don't think of it as just a holiday dish. But you're right, Maria. It is. And, and, <laughs> and the bald man's like poppy seed soup, soup ba, or something like that. Yeah. All right. Well, I have a, a bonus question. We're always ready with a. We like to have multi-parters because even though Maria's in the lead, you know who knows what could happen if I give a multi-part question. And this is a really important detail, which I know you'll both remember the setup of, if not the very specifics of. So when they're at the Altai, the labor camp that they go to, the farm. The NKBD pressures everyone to sign a form agreeing specifically to three conditions. And so I, I will give a point to, to people who can name for each condition, basically, each of the three. And so if you'd like to start with one, please feel free to raise your hand. Oh. Rita, yes, give us one. Because I can remember one. They are agreeing to 25 years hard labor that's the biggest and most frightening one yes correct um and then another one is that they have to pay 200 rubles of a war tax which is like i don't remember what it is what like how much that actually is but they already don't have any money because they had to trade it for food i wouldn't have remembered that maria thank you for taking that one because i would not have remembered that one you're welcome yeah that pretty much clinches the victory i think there is one more Go ahead, Maria, take it home. Okay, um, they have to agree that they are criminals and they offended the state. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. And, and, and agree to be on the farm, basically. Agree to, to join the farm, which they already have no choice but to, to be at. Right. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> that win is over. <laughs> 
good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I read it. I read it today, like this weekend, because Miss Pace told me that it was not between or it was not the salt of the sea, <laughs> and she handed me the book and was like, "You can read this," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and I did this weekend. <laughs> That's my bad. I had told them that it was going to be Salt to the Sea. And then and Steve's like, stop reading. It's not. <laughs>